A quick warning before you get into this video, this is mostly me and Name making fun of the Silver Eyes graphic novel. And by that I mean ripping it to shreds. We really don't think it's that good, and we knew this going in. We've seen lots of questionable screenshots. But we do not condone witch hunting of the artists themselves at all, nor do we hate the Five Nights at Freddy's series as a whole. In fact, I'm pretty confident in saying we both love it, or at the very least I do. So just take it with a grain of salt, we're just going into this trying to have a good time. Alright, see you later. Get my photo, that's 69%. Nice. <laughs> I just started to record. That was that, this is that dramatic music as it cuts yeah. in there on my end. <laughs> Why is the description sex, drugs, and rock and roll the right way? <laughs> Angel dust? <laughs> oh no, that was, uh, oh, that was a Sea Shanties 2 from RuneScape. Oh my god, that's perfect! <laughs> fucking foxy, dude. Yo, do I need to break a window to make these sound effects? Cause like I can't, I can't. Yeah, break break a window real quick. <laughs> My instinct was to punch the window to break it instead of like you know throwing something into it so that I don't make my hand bleed. I'm great. No, no, no! Punch the window. That'll go well. I feel like the last time I saw someone punch a window, it went pretty well. A window or a wall? Yeah, well, the last time I saw someone punch a wall, it went fucking awesome, like amazingly. But when it comes to windows. <laughs> Yeah, it went about as well as it could finger. He's fine. <laughs> we should probably actually do this now. Hey, I've been waiting on you. <laughs> Look, I would have started, but then you started playing the sea shanties, and I just kind of had to have a minute to breathe. <laughs> hey, we've been here since way before then. Yeah, that that one. that That's to be fair, but okay. <laughs> we're going now. Fucking. All right. By we, you mean you. Yes, I mean me. Don't uh, fucking. I'm just gonna do it. There we go, I got it. I'm back. Let's try that again. He sees me. I have he to didn't get have to read that line. I can do it again. It's fine. Whatever. I have to get out. I have to. And then there's no other dialogue, and then Foxy is just evil and shit. I, I don't know what to do when there's just a page of nothing. We just kind of. Do we just- do we just move along? We just keep going. Alright, yeah, chapter one. No, it's just... Chapter one. I'm pretty oh, sure they had... Oh, there we go. No, it's good. I'm pretty sure they had chapter names in the book, but they just got rid of them for this. Here, let me see if I can... I mean, I have the book. I can go get it. No, don't do that, pussy. Okay, I'm gonna go get it now just to spite you. Um... Oh, no, bridged! Is there a Five Nights at Freddy's The Silver Eyes Abridged series? I mean, you could very easily make an abridged series out of it when it looks like this now. What's the last <laughs> word in The Silver Eyes? Said. Oh, boring. Alright. Are you still looking up or are we good? Oh, no, I'm not. I gave up. Uh, they, they didn't have chapter names, I was just wrong. Okay. Fucking good one. Look, I, I don't know, man. I don't actually read. Go ahead. Still a few hours to kill. Come on, Charlie. You know where you want to go. Why is there a fucking goop? Oh, the blood stain on the floor? They, oh, that's what that is? They never explain that blood stain. It's just there. Um, and also, they don't explain what this building is. Uh, this is Charlie's, like, childhood house. They don't tell you oh. that. You're just expected to know. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Hello. We're we're just waiting for him to appear. <laughs> That's all this. <laughs> he appears on like page seventy four. We have a lot to go through before he shows up. Yep. All right. Hello, Theodore and Stanley. You need a new coat of paint, Stanley. I can't read. Fuck. Hi, Ella. The fucking weird ass doll thing. I hate that doll. It's oh, it's the worst thing. I remember showing these closets to John. This little fucking kid. Why do you have three closets? Because my dad is rich. That's, that really is just the protagonist is just, yeah, my dad's rich. 
He made animatronics. <laughs> also, there's a dying fucking Theodore up there. <laughs> Theodore fucking dies. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> Theodore's just dying. I don't know what happened to him. Alright, one hour. I wish I could, like, actually figure out what this dialogue said. Is, is that one hour later? Yeah, one hour later. It's been a while. Yeah. It's it's been... More specifically, it's been an hour. Yeah, no, it's been way more than a while, uh, than an hour, don't worry. Um, it's, then why does it say one hour later? I fucking, alright. It's been a while <laughs> is her, like, narrating, but they don't tell you it's that. a song. I mean, alright. It's been a while. Man, what the fuck happened to my Google Chrome? I don't know. Oh god. Oh god, it got worse. I went to the next page. Oh god, no. <laughs> no, look, here here's the main cast, the main four. So the, these are the two guys that you have to give voices to right now. Yeah, I see. Why does the dude at the left look like Ethan from Lost? Wait, wait, what? Alright, hold on. You mean- wait, did you say Ethan from Loss or Lost? Loss. Oh, yeah, I know! <laughs> why- why does he look like that? Also, it's important to know that John is supposed to be this cool, smooth, like, love interest guy. Like, there's like a really stupid romance- He looks like a him. loser. He is! But they play it off as like, he's really cool, guys. See? Check this out. Oh, this <laughs> looks so bad. Alright. God. Okay, no. Can we talk about the middle right panel? This one here? The... I no, right. My mouse. Oh, like over here. That's... Yeah, the left one of those two. Why does Ethan from Loss look horrible? I don't know. It looks like he's melting. <laughs> yeah, what's up with his lips? Oh, God! I don't even know. Does he have lips? No, he doesn't. If That's like his tongue, I think. Yeah, that's his tongue. That's why it looks so weird. He's like got an open mouth. Oh. Where are his teeth? I don't... Um, it might be his teeth. I'm not sure. I can't tell. The, the quality's too low. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you, when you get it. This is too low. garbage. Alright, I, I wonder if you can guess what voice I'm going to give to the blonde girl. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea how to voice her. Apparently they whitewashed her too, so. Good. Big surprise. We're gonna, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to roll with the garbage, so yeah. Well, yeah, you ha we have to. Listen, I'm going to be rolling with it. Yeah, you have to give these two losers voices. and there's... That, You know that's not what I was referring to. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just pretending that that's... Oh boy, let's let's go. Go on. Carlton, Jessica, and John. Just looking. Charlie! Oh boy. <sighs> it's been so long since I did this voice, I'm excited. <laughs> I was just telling John. When's, Carlton, when is the last time you used that voice? Uh, it was when we did the DR1 free time events, which was like a couple months ago. Jesus. I, I didn't realize it'd been that. What about before then? Uh, like the Valley Girl voice? <laughs> yeah, I what about before we did the free time events? I've only ever it? used it for Junko. I've never used it for any other yeah. character. I've never used it for Jesus. anybody else. Which sucks, because I, I'm really proud of my Valley Girl voice. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> but I never get an opportunity to use it, which is why this is very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking... Alright, it's fucking your turn. You gotta tap in. It's your turn to die. <laughs> it's your turn to die. Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Hey, no spoilers. I'll cut it out, I'll cut it out. Yeah, d dub it over with Fred Flintstone. <laughs> I'm gonna do that don't, you don't say it, though. You dub it over with my voice. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fuck you won't. You're not even gonna edit and upload this. Well, the joke's on you. Here I am. <laughs> I'm spending three hours of my life editing this mess of a live reading. It's fun, though. I want to, but you're right. <laughs> you're right. I want to, but I probably won't. But it's okay. If I do... You're not even... You're not even gonna, like, end up re-watching this, no, probably. No, I will. I definitely... There's no way I won't. This is gonna be too monumental.
Monumental. Look at this. We are making history tonight, boys. <laughs> Let's see if anyone else has done this real quick. I bet on casting call there's gonna be a bunch nope. of there's gonna be a bunch of projects like fucking let's dub the Silver Eyes graphic novel. It's like let's not. <laughs> there's a, the audiobook for the entire book. Oh god. It's eight hours. It's a big book. It's like a four hundred page novel. It's a big Oh book. yeah. It is a big boy. I could never actually sit down and read this book. Like, not I'm not even talking about the graphic novel anymore. I'm talking about just the Silver Eyes. Yeah, no. I could never just sit down and read it. It's like, I mean, like that's I such mean, a commitment. I'm like a decent way through it. Um, but the thing is, is that once you've read the graphic novel, I know this sounds obvious. You won't need to read the book. Like, I'm sure they cut oh, a yeah. shitload out. But they have all um, they they definitely did with it. Well, the thing about cutting out is I feel like most of the pages saved was just not dealing with Scott's descriptions. Scott didn't write this. He didn't write the Silver Eyes? He I believe I know he worked on it. But um here, let me see. I, I, I don't. I know he and um someone named Kira Breed Risley or Risley. I'm I'm not very good at pronouncing names. Those are the two people credited with creating the book, and I think that Scott was like either like a helper or like an editor or something. I don't think he actually wrote the book himself. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. You know what? Fuck it. Just check the Wikipedia article. Yeah, it's, it's just it just says it's written by Scott and Kira Breed was. Uh, it might have been like a, a combined effort then, but um. Yeah. Damn, Scott Cons has four kids. Damn. What? Scott has a wife and four sons. Hell yeah. Huh. He lives in Houston. Houston. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Fucking Houston, Texas. Wait, films? Yeah. Scott, Scott has done films? I didn't know this, but yeah. I, I guess so. Let's see. Bird Village the movie in 2001. His first was 95, but it was ah. just a college demo reel. Okay. Then, let's see, there's A Mush Snail Tale. And then two sequels. By the way, there are three sequels to Bird Village, the movie. Yeah, alright. Noah's Ark, Story of the Biblical Flood. A Christmas Journey about the blessings God gives. Christmas Symbols. The Pilgrim's Progress, which is the only one that has an actual Wikipedia article. Bible Plays Series. Rock and Learn. The Jesus Kids' Club series in 2010, and Five Nights at Freddy's the movie 2021. 2021? How far back did it get pushed? Jesus! To 2021! Do you think it'll be a adaptation of the Silver Eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my brain just Okay, went... but Bill Hader has to play William Afton. No, my brain was just like, Danny DeVito is William Afton. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Okay, but I, I think we all, no, I think I have the best pick. It's Rami Isma. Oh, no. <laughs> Spot on. I, oh, God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the wrong name, but, you know. Did you mean Rami Malik? Of course I did. I follow Rami Ismail on Twitter. He's a great person to follow. I see. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> I'm bad at names, so only one Rami exists in this brain, and it's Ismail. Yeah. Malik doesn't exist. He doesn't matter. But you know, Rami Malik plays William Afton. Oh, God. I mean, real quick, Rami, Ma <laughs> Rami Malik's a great guy. He's so he? nice. He's so nice. Okay. He's I know so I heard a lot about him, and if I hear a lot, I don't know if that means they're good or bad. He was in, like, I think it's called, is it Mr. Robot? Is that the name of the show? Uh, oh fucking no! I don't know TV. I just got. I just confused him for a game dev. Yeah, Do you think I know media? You're right, but he's he's like the main character in a show. I believe it's Mr. Robot, um, alongside Christian Slater, um, like modern day Christian Slater. This is like <laughs> a, few, a few years ago. 
Um, Wait, you're telling me that the person he works with is the current version of this person? No, I just wanted to make sure you knew that it was, like, a current thing, not, like, a thing he did a while ago. Yeah. Because um, Christian, Christian Slater in, like, the 80s and Christian Slater now are, like, two separate people in my brain. I can't Yeah, good. Because <laughs> one is Jason Dean and the other is Christian Slater. Christian Slater is the nicest goddamn person. It's really weird. Is he? I wouldn't know. Yeah, I remember I, I watched an interview um, back from the, like, the 80s. And, like, good lord, he's so sweet. Nice. <laughs> but also... <laughs> I said this wasn't going to take too long for us to get through, but at this rate, it's going to take us, like, at least three hours. <laughs> three, you think- you thought this was going to take less than three hours? It's like 200-some pages. It's- it's 200 pages. Yeah, I wasn't wrong, was I? No, just fucking read, please. Um, right. shit. I- hold on, actually. Well, John's got to have a pretty normal ass voice, and then there's Carlton, who just kind of, he's the stupid one. That's the joke. Well, like this is a, this is a, like a horror. This is supposed to be. It's written like it's supposed to be a slasher. Yes, so, I know who. I know what these characters sound like. <laughs> it's great. I know you said that. Um, what's his face is supposed to be the cool one. Yeah. Cool, I know what he sounds like. He's gonna sound something like Rantaro. <laughs> that's don't, that's what slashers are like. Don't, please, don't. No, don't. that's what slashers are like. No. <laughs> no, don't, I am just a baby. <laughs> I don't want to crush on John Silver Eyes over here. You won't. You'll crush on that. <laughs> no! <laughs> that some people would go like if i upload this that is that people would go into this blind not knowing what <laughs> looks like and then like we're, talk we're like talking about it and are you telling me there. you think there are people out there who don't know <laughs> all right look pre here we go prefacing it for the viewers after cutting out all the shit we said before you have about 60 pages to prepare for what's about to happen yes in about 60 pages is going to appear and, and I just have to voice him and none of you are ready I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> you, you might think you're ready no. you're not here's the thing I've like skimmed most of the graphic novel especially towards the like the middle and the end and I'm not ready I've here's seen the, it before and here's the problem I'm not ready to have to voice him because he has a canon voice we know what he sounds like and I sure as fuck know that I, that I, I, first off, I can, I can do that voice. I can replicate that voice. I can replicate PJ Haywood. It's fucking amazing. But, once you see this motherfucker, <laughs> you'll, <laughs> you'll realize. Yeah. So you have about 60 to 70-ish pages to prepare yourself for something that you cannot prepare yourself for. It's it's 60 pages. It, it's 70. It's 60? It's, it's page 74? Um, we're on page, like, 4. We're on page 12. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. It says page 12. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Don't lie to me. We've only gone through a single page. <laughs> I mean, it sure does feel like that, considering we've been on these two pages for so long. Yeah. Okay. I should probably actually try to do a voice now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did you know Jessica lives in New York? Eight million people live in New York. It's not exactly an achievement. Well, I've never been anywhere. I swear. When I turn 18, I am out of here. Where's everyone else? And then there's the goddamn struggle <clears throat> of comics where it's like, Who is talking? I don't know. Um, who is talking? I don't know. I... I oh, I'm presuming by that horribly drawn panel down there that Jason is talking. No, Jason, no. Jason isn't no? here. Jason is the baby that's next to it. Like, like Jason isn't here. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, so, who's talking? It's either Carlton or Jessica, I just don't know which one of them that it is. Alright, we're just gonna flip a coin. Heads is Carlton, tails is Jessica. It's heads. Alright. Actually, wait, no, this is definitely Jessica. Well, fucking alright, I guess I'll read it after all that. I forgot that, yeah, I forgot that Carlton was the dumbass. Everyone knows the dumbass doesn't give, like, any exp ex exposition. Marla and Lamar are coming tomorrow morning. Marla's bringing her little brother, can you believe it? Jason? Last time I saw him, he was only a baby. Which doesn't make sense now that I think about it. The timeline is weird. Oh god, it just keeps getting worse every time I turn the page. It's just, oh. <laughs> yeah, great, huh? Anyway, I booked us a room at the motel down by the highway. The boys are still staying with Carlton. Okay. <clears throat> hey, um... Does anyone know what is happening tomorrow? Yeah. What do I even say to Michael's parents? Carlton, do you ever see them? Not really. I'm surprised they s Is Hurricane the name of the town? Yes. Okay, I was- I was confused. Not really. I'm surprised they stayed in Hurricane. How could they not? His body has never been found. How could they not have secretly hoped he might come home, no matter how impossible it was? Maybe that's what the scholarship is. An admission that he's never coming home. I read those lines in the wrong order. Fuck. Yeah, you did. How could they leave the only home Michael knew? Fuck it, it's fine. Do you still write, John? I remember you declared yourself an author when we were about six. I actually do my ease the right way around these days. But I still write. Yeah, uh, short stories, mostly. I actually had one published last year. Just in a magazine, uh, nothing big. Uh, hey, Carlton. What never happened to Freddy's, anyway? It's okay, Carlton. I'd like to know, too. Uh, they built over it. I don't know what. Uh, it's too far back from the road to see. It's been blocked off for years, under construction. You can't even tell if Freddy's is still there. So it could still be there? I'm going to go outside for a minute. It was just some random lady. Hey, what the fuck is this lady doing? What, what is that pose? <laughs> uh, I, she's in the middle of some dance. I don't know. I love that Carlton is like perpetually in the state of, oh god, did I forget something? Like, he yeah. always has that face. No, everyone has that face. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> you know it would come up. You knew you would have to talk about it. Uh, Charlie? Uh, you forgot your jacket. Thanks. I still haven't learned to think before I talk. Uh, sorry about that. It's okay. I just... It sounds stupid, but I never think about it. I don't let myself. No one knows what happened except my aunt, and we never talk about it. I know that's not how you guys pronounce it, but British is... Yeah, it's, who cares? Then I come here, and suddenly it's everywhere. I was just surprised, that's all. Hey, remember that time- uh, f Fuck, let I me mean, actually read before I speak. <laughs> Sorry, I like- I, I got to the line and I was like, wait, I haven't been reading, god damn it. Hey, remember that time at Freddy's when the merry-go-round got stuck? Is that say Marla or Maria? Marla. Okay. And Marla had to keep writing until her parents plucked her off. <laughs> yeah, her face was bright red, crying like a baby. She puked everywhere. That's lovely. I like that. That's great. I'm comfortable. Welcome to Freddy's. I mean, yeah, that that basically is just how fucking these places work. I'm oh, yeah. Pizza what bird. is that bird? I know, right? He's booling. What kind of bird is that? I have no idea, but he do and big steppy. I don't think those exist. <laughs> oh, they probably don't. I don't know. It looks like it's trying to be a roadrunner, but they don't look like that. I don't think. I think I've realized why I don't like Jessica's design. Why? She looks like a Winx Club character. <laughs> like, not a specific oh. one. She just looks like she would be a Winx Club character, and I don't like that. Oh, yeah, I guess that is a roadrunner. That kind of looks like one, except... They didn't pattern it. <laughs> also, isn't that just a really awkward shot in general? 
Oh yeah, very much so. They look like they're drawn in Go Animate. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep going. All right. Gross! I never wrote it again. Not after that. Oh, that's who it's going to. Yeah. I I couldn't figure out who it was going to. It's. Oh come on, Jessica! They cleaned it. I'm pretty sure kids puked all over the place. Those wet floor signs weren't there for nothing, right, Charlie? Hey, I never puked. I used to spend so much time there. Privileges of knowing the owner's daughter. I couldn't help who my dad was. Uh, let's see. I have to, like, I have to squint to try and figure out who's where. I think that's... It's the same order as at the top, at least. So I think it's, like, Jessica, then I, Carlton, yeah, then it's... Charlie. Okay. Yeah. I mean... I mean, could you have a better childhood than spending all day at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? I love those animals so much. What's the proper name for them? Animals? Uh, mascots? Robots? I think they're all correct. I remember how I used to talk to Bonnie. I used to complain to him about my parents. They don't tell you, but that line on the right is Carlton. <laughs> uh, Discord made it so I can't read it. Shit! Yeah, <laughs> again, for the, if I upload this preface, I'm using Discord screen share, so name uh, yeah. sometimes just won't be able to see shit. Yeah, that happens every now and again. We literally just have to wait. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna have to sit here and enjoy this. God, why is Bonnie holding the guitar like that? That looks awful. Yeah. Also, doesn't he... Hmm? He's holding it the wrong way around. Maybe Bonnie's left-handed, you don't know. No, parts and services, he's right-handed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's always been depicted as right-handed. Anyway, I can read now. All right. Animatronic therapy, recommended by six out of seven crazy people. Oh, shut up, Carlton. I knew he wasn't real, I just liked talking to him. And I used to like Freddy the most. He always seemed the most relatable. You know, there are lots of things from childhood I can't remember at all. But I swear, I can close my eyes and see every last detail of that place. I used to try and hide when it was time to go home. I wanted to be stuck overnight so I could have the whole place to myself. Yeah, and you always hid under the same table. Sometimes I feel like I remember every inch of it, like Carlton. But then again, it was all in pieces. I remember drawing on the placemats, eating the greasy pizza writing nonsense on the walls, and hugging Freddy, his yellow fur getting stuck all over my clothes. But... Freddy was brown, right? Guess you don't remember it that well after all. Look at that shitty-ass gradient. <laughs> it looks like it's from fucking Danganronpa. That's, that's just the no, that's wrong gradient. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> also, real quick, the bottom right panel is really bad. <laughs> I know! <laughs> right, I meant brown. How could I misremember such a basic detail? So you really don't know what happened to it, Carlton? No, I really don't know what happened. How can you not know? You live here! Charlie, come on. It's not like I hang around in that part of town. Things are different now. The town has grown. And honestly, I don't look for reasons to go there. Why would I? There isn't any reason. Not anymore. And then there's that beautiful panel. <laughs> <laughs> we could go there! What? Seriously, it's a mess. I don't know if you can even get to it. Let's do it. Even if there is nothing, I want to see. We did it. We got through chapter one, boys. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be that fast. I don't know how many chapters there are. I, I think in the book there's like 13. We did it, boys. I'm going to get up now while this the little break. Fucking all right. Okay, so normally I'd cut out these breaks, but Name happened to say something during this one, and he made me promise I wouldn't cut it out. So here we are. Yeah, so Mara has a crush on William Afton. Just the voice, but um... That can change. They keep telling me that's that can't change, but I think it can change. I really do. I honestly, truly believe that it can change. 
I, I'm not even trying to tease them whenever I say that, but they think I am. No, I, I really, I, I do have that little faith in their taste. <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't. It's been, like, half a month now, and things haven't changed. Jeez, my tastes aren't that bad. Okay. Anyway, I'm listening to CGT2. <laughs> you gotta wait for Foxy to come back before you can start listening to that, dude. You're right, you're right. You gotta listen to Five Nights at Freddy's by the Living Tombstone. But, oh, Christ. <laughs> Don't you still remember the lyrics? Some of them. I, I know all of them because I learned them a couple weeks ago because I started listening to this song. A couple know. weeks ago? Yeah, it might be a little bit longer ago than that, but, like, it's no more than, like, two months. <laughs> 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 Alright, chapter two time, let's go. What chapter does he come in? Uh, uh, Three? I think it's six, maybe. Wh six? Like five or six, maybe. I might be wrong. Jesus. He doesn't show up until the third time they go to the fucking pizzeria. I see. He just he just doesn't exist until the third time they break into this building. He's supposed Man, to be he's, the nice he's guy. He's not doing his job very yeah, well. Not really. Is this the place? I don't know. Oh, for God's sake, this bullshit <laughs> again! And I know is I'm not supposed to know who that is. I know Charlie has the flashlight. That's about it. All right, so it's not Charlie. Uh, Go back. I think it's John. No, the order changed. Wait, no, it didn't. I think it is John. Okay. Okay. I think that's John. Yeah. Okay. And they really build this whole thing and then just leave? It just goes on and on. Sorry, guys. I hope there would be something familiar at least. The idea that this place could really be gone. Sometimes I just wanted to scrub it from my mind. As if it had never been. But now that somebody else has scrubbed it from the landscape, it feels wrong. Like it should have been up to me. And then, I, I, is that Charlie? I don't know. Uh, sure. Guys, look. Uh, oh, they fucking climb up it. Okay, I was really confused. Alright. Uh, who's saying this one? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be John. Can we drop down? Uh, yes. No. I'll go. This is beautiful transitioning scene. Oh, fucking look at John in the last one. Why did he go last? I don't know, but... Fuck <laughs> it, I guess. Alright. Who's talking? <sighs> we may as well just bring up a random number generator. I'm pretty sure that's... Carlton. Really? What, what gives you that idea? Uh, well, it's not Charlie. <laughs> John is close... Uh... Actually, there you go. I have a, I have a reason why. I remember thinking about this earlier because I looked at the shot. It's because in the last panel on the first page, Carlton's at the back. So. And the dialogue is okay. The first fuck it. Back. It's like a lost city, like Pompeii without the volcano. Oh, no, this place wasn't abandoned. It just never saw life at all. Someone else is here. Uh, night guard, maybe? Why would an abandoned building need a night guard? Kids probably come here to party. I would have, too. If I'd have known about it. Or if I partied. Quiet! I love him in the background! <laughs> That's him. That's your first introduction to him. Look at that stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's leaving. You won't believe this! You have to be kidding me. I made this. I wrote this right next to the back door. Help me move this. Oh, for God's sake! This is literally impossible for us to figure out who's... Yeah. Like, we, might, <laughs> we might as well just not bother. No, we're randomly generating it. Okay. It's not gonna open. Uh, just a second, uh... It's not locked, just rusty. Try again. It's moving. 
That's the most inefficient way we could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, all right, creak. Gasp! Look at him, the boys. Yes, yeah, see, he's right-handed. Oh my god! <laughs> Cupcake. That's an adorable looking cupcake. Alright. I just love his doofy book teeth. Alright, it makes me <laughs> Alright. Hi. Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. They seem taller than I remember. That's because you never got this close as a kid. Come on. Don't you want to see the rest of this place? I remember it being a lot brighter here. And noisier. I wonder if my high scores are still in there. I used to love this thing. It's not quite the same. Oh, have we all forgotten? Pirate's Cove, you fools. Oh my god, look <laughs> at that drawing of Spring Bonnie in the second panel. Look at him! I can't. <laughs> I can't. Here, I'm gonna send it to you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love him. So who's talking? <laughs> Oh, fucking lord knows. Let's pretend it's Jessica. Years later and it is still out of order. Do you think he's still back there? I'm sure he is. Wait, do you hear that? I, I don't hear anything. Me neither. You music. It's coming from... A stage? It's like a music box. Okay, here I go. I... Can't be fucked to scream. That takes too much effort. <laughs> I don't want to scare my family. Scrap. Also, like she's standing on air. She jumped. That is not a jump pose. <laughs> that is not how jumping works. Your knees aren't bent when you jump like that. Oh, that looks so bad. <laughs> I knocked over a bunch of pots in the kitchen. That guard might have heard. We have to get out of here. Run. Run. <laughs> Look at the Holy shit! I'm gonna go into Look at the one in front. I'm gonna go into guided view just so I can like get a close up of that. Hold on. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> I like I like the second person from the front. Like that's a long steppy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big step. <laughs> Alright. That was fun. That was scary. It could be both. We were all exactly the same as we were, just older. I know what you mean. Are you sure that guy didn't see us? We've outrun him by now. Still, we should get out of here. I don't want to push our luck. Uh, yeah, I think that is... Oh, that's still him? Yeah. Okay. See y'all tomorrow, then? Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's fucking, uh... The Charlie's dad, also known as Henry. Henry. Yeah, fucking Henry, alright. Does it hurt? Oh, it's fucking... I don't know. I'm trying to... Like, should, should I... Because Henry is the cassette man from... Yeah. Pizza, 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 pizzeria simulator. <laughs> pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Just Chica malfunctioning. <laughs> oh, <I would> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the problem was I was going to say pizza location. <laughs> It's fucking Five Nights at Freddy's pizza location, where all the animatronics are just pizza. But you know, like, we know what, we know what Henry sounds like. A pizzeria simulator, but I don't know if I should do that voice. I mean, you can if you- I don't think he talks much, so it's not like it matters too much. Alright. Um, shit, let me- let me just refresh my- What did you say, sweetie? Nothing, daddy. That scared the shit out of me, I just want you to know. Why? Because I wasn't expecting it! <laughs> I was like, I zoned out for a minute, and then it came back, I was like, oh, fuck! No, I did that horribly. I can do that ten times better. I know, I just, uh, it's fuck. Uh. Alright, fucking Marla's here. I don't remember what I decided to do for Marla. Alright. I'll probably just bullshit it. Charlie! Marla! Jason, how old are you now? Fucking oh god! I have to voice the fucking kid. Shit! I didn't prepare yeah, for this. Little boy. I cannot voice young young boys or girls at that. I'll I'll probably just like make it up as I go. 
Alright. 11. Just like, I'll go from there. Alright. Come on in. It's the luxury suite. Oh, fuck. I don't remember what I was gonna do for you. It was 10 seconds ago. No, I had like an actual voice prepared and I just don't remember what yeah. it was. We just got here. We had to leave at 6 this morning and someone wouldn't stop fiddling with the radio. We should get ready. We're supposed to meet the guys at the diner in an hour. Alright, yeah, there's the other guy you have to voice. Fucking Lamar. Here I see. Lamar. God, that shot with all of them. Why are the three guys just staring straight forward? <laughs> it looks really awkward. We will beat you to death. <laughs> all right. Do the animatronics talk? I don't think so, but I might be wrong. God damn it. That'd be the most fun I could have in this, is voicing Foxy. Yeah, I mean, you can just bullshit lines for him if you want. <laughs> like, as he's running down the hall, you can just say shit. Yeah, because I could totally do that. There's no reason not to. Hey, did you know Lamar's going to Cornell next year? Oh, God, that kid. Ah, shit, what, what can I do for him? Um. I, I, I actually don't know. Prepared to do another voice. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was gonna be just Carlton Banks and John. All part of the five year plan. No one ever leaves Hurricane. We should get going soon. Oh god, this scene is so unnecessary. Oh, this scene is so unnecessary. Oh, is this uh... Michael? Yeah, this is Michael. <laughs> Michael, it's, it's your birthday. Oh, this is get, so get fucked get... up. This is his fucking. Oh no. <laughs> After like that, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally like a scene where they're like honoring Michael's death. This is so fucked up. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Oh, that's so fucked up. Been... That that video is just really about Michael. It really is. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is so fucked. I think Michael, I, they don't tell you, but Michael was killed, I think it's ten years before the events of this book. Um, okay. Because, like, he was, like, six, and they were, like, six back then or something, I don't know. They don't tell you anything in this graphic novel, it's really awkward. Yeah, and it was do, a, do a, a sad mom voice. I can't do a sad mom voice, I don't know what moms sound like. Uh, you don't know what a stereotypical funeral mom sounds like? I have no idea what a stereotypical funeral- I don't watch anything, ever. Neither do I! I watch, like, Markiplier, and that's about it. <laughs> Same. I, and I don't remember any sad funeral moms. I mean, there was the Unisanis video yesterday, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's not- it? that's not a funeral mom. Can you stop it? <laughs> Can you stop it? <laughs> I was just gonna like I was just gonna read this in like a neutral voice because giving people voices go ahead, is lazy. Go ahead. It's, it's, I'm, I can't speak English. Okay. We are so grateful to all of you for coming, especially those of you who came from out of town. We wanted to give Michael a legacy with the scholarship, but it is clear that he has already left one. I want to say something about the families who are not here. As we all know, Michael was not the only child lost during those terrible few months. And then it's just over. It's just an hour later. Oh, okay. <laughs> it. Right. Oh, that's John. God damn it, took me a second. Yeah. It was amazing how talented Michael was. Right? It's not fair. He died so young. I think I need a bit of fresh air. You went where? What was it like? Exactly the same. Just that everyone was gone. I would like to see it too. You have to take us there. I want to go too. What is Freddy's? I don't know. I mean, today, we have to see it. You can't tell us this and not let us see it. I think we should go. I don't think it's disrespectful. It's almost a way of honoring what happened. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Who? Who? Why? 
I th Marla? I don't know. They, they have the largest silhouette, and that would make sense, so, alright. Okay, then. Let's meet there at ten. I'm going for a walk. You mind if I come with you? You're going to your old house, right? How did you know that? It's the only interesting thing out this way. Okay, you can come. Thirty minutes out that <laughs> way. <laughs> Great. Hey, remember that fucking tree? <laughs> I can see they're already struggling. Hey, remember that, uh, a tree? <laughs> I don't know who's talking where. I think the top one I is think, Charlie, I think, and then the bottom yeah, I think it's Charlie. Charlie, then John. He tried to kiss me there when we were six. Even the littlest heart wants what it wants. Charlie, uh, I have to tell you something. I saw something that night. That night Michael disappeared. Remember when the animals started to go crazy that day? I remember. It was frightening. Bizarre. I was totally mesmerized. Even the technician didn't know what to do. Well, there was someone else that day. Another mascot. A bear. It was standing right near us. And next to Michael. When the animatronic stopped moving, the mascot was gone. And so was Michael. What did that person look like? Do you remember anything? <laughs> There's the shitty ass paint bucket. Fucking yeah. highlight. Yes. The eyes. They were all I could see. I remember them like they're right in front of me. They were dead. Just dull and flat. How strange. Well, we should go. It's almost time to meet the others. Yeah race you? You know, because this is totally appropriate. Yeah. I don't, I'm pretty sure this is already past where I got to in the book. I just want to okay. put that out there. Um, Alright, chapter four. Alright. I'm just going to pretend that's Charlie and go with it. Alright. Is everything prepared? I told Marla and Lamar about the night guard. <sighs> and I brought more flashlights. And then there's some person talking. I don't know who it is. Let's just pretend it's Charlie, then John. I'm pretty sure the second person is Marla, but alright. Oh, alright. Oh yeah! I didn't read the dialogue. I yeah. looked at the silhouettes. Right. Tried to make them out. Perfect. Let's go. Jason, turn it off. We can't attract attention. I told him if he's not good, he has to wait in the car. We could feed him to Foxy. <laughs> That's fucking brutal, Jesus! Yeah, Foxy would eat a kid. And then it's just like, who are you people? Who knows? Uh, well, it's Charlie, then someone. You can see the moon. And it's just, I don't know. Well, it's not John, because you can see his silhouette to the right. So, it's Carlton? I think it's Carlton. Oh, Lamar. It's one of the two. I think it's Judging by the hair, it looks more like Carlton. All right, do that. You can kind of see like a split in it. I'm really struggling. No, that's perfectly fine. We just we're bullshit. Yeah, it's beautiful. Creak. D and you think that isn't going to bring the night guard? Didn't last time. I love how shitty that panel is. It's the best thing. Oh, it's so bad. Oh my! I could give her a southern accent. I feel like that would fit. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I'm not gonna do that, but like I could. You could. Wow. Wow. Cool. The arcade is over this way. Wait for me, Carlton. I can't believe they're still here. Yeah. Hey, everybody, come here. What is it? Look at that. Come on. Because this is a good idea. Let's fuck with this. This is like a clown car. What does this do? Uh, I think that's Lamar, yeah. There's power. These cams are live. I bet we can control the animals from here. Yes, look. But it looks stiff. Unnatural. Not like they used to dance back then. I guess each button is for a single movement. Uh, it's too stuffy in here. So that's the context. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why isn't Freddy moving? These cameras don't show the whole place. There's got to be another control room. I'm counting to 100. You'd better hide. <laughs> One, two, three. It's so fucking ominous. It's just really, like, out of place. Yeah, no, like, all of a sudden he's like, we're playing hide and seek now. And for some reason she just goes along with it. Look at how happy and blushy she is. It's just because she has that. The it's just because she has the biggest crush on this guy, so she just goes with whatever the fuck he, kind of bullshit he says. Anyway, so who's gonna die? <laughs> oh. Now, I know. We all know who's gonna die first. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who's going to die first. <laughs> well, let's go back to Pirate's Cove. The stage there must have a surveillance room, too. Found it. <laughs> I love this picture. Just everyone's like, ooh, looking at... Nothing in particular. Yeah. <laughs> also, Block Freddy is pretty great. <laughs> Wait, there, there's a lot of interesting images here. Yeah. <laughs> I like the one on the far right that's like cut off that way. I think that's supposed to be Freddy. <laughs> it looks like Garfield. <laughs> it does! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's. 100. Great. I'm coming! Yeah, that's. I don't like that. Now find you, Charlie. What the fuck? What? I just what the fuck is happening? Like in like with Jack Jason. I have no idea who you are referring to because there's a character. Jason. Named, there's a John and a Jason. You mean the kid? Yeah, I know. You mean the kid? Yeah, right? yeah. yeah I I was I was in the middle of remembering his name. John and Jason. Yeah, uh, if if I can remember what happens, he's like wa he he walks past this hallway and he sees all the drawings and he picks yeah, and then he sees the one of Spring Bonnie. Yeah, he picks up the two of Spring Bonnie and he's just like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Charlie. Look at her hiding in Pirates Cove like a fucking idiot. Such a bad idea. And then he's Yarr. like, oh my god, <laughs> how may I be of service to you? How may I be of service to you? <laughs> Grim. Charlie, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I must have hit a button that caused it to move. Show me your arm. I'm fine. I'm like a foxy dual wave. Come back some other time. <laughs> Why don't you? Hell yeah. I don't, I don't know who's talking. <laughs> I don't know who's talking. I don't know. Probably Marla? Charlie, you're bleeding. Let's get you out of here. Cause she's the one who asked to see the arm, so. Yeah. Back at the motel. There you go. Is Charlie gonna be okay? Of course she is. Uh, hold on, there we go. It's so late already. Why don't you just all sleep here? No, I don't mind sleeping on the floor. Just give me a pillow and I'm fine. Perfect. They do a sleep. Look at John, he's yeah, in fucking mood. I like how- Wait, they're sleeping with their shoes on! Don't worry about it. I like that Lamar is like, he's got like his hands crossed, it looks really awkward. And then Carlton is just fucking suffocating himself. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see it anymore. Oh no! This went by fast. Does it hurt? <laughs> All right. Morning. Bye. What are you do? What are you doing up so early? I couldn't sleep. What about you? Somebody stepped on me. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. I was awake. You know, Freddy's wasn't the first restaurant. What? There was a diner, a little one. It was before my mom left. like this okay uh, go on i don't remember where it was it's one of those memories from when i was a very little kid you know there was a bear and a rabbit but sometimes the details get mixed up in my head it's just impressions little snatches of time it's it's okay when i was very very young i was never alone 
There was my mom before she left, and my father before he... and us. Me and my twin brother, Sammy. We, we loved the yellow bear and the matching rabbit. Sometimes they moved stiffly and mechanically on stage, and sometimes with fluid human movements. I hate that image of Spring Bonnie on the right. It, it's awful. It's <laughs> the worst thing I've ever seen. Actually, Spring Bonnie's on the left. Uh, uh fucking... <laughs> I think they were costumes. Sometimes people wore them, and sometimes my father put them onto the robots. That's all I remember. I didn't know you had a twin brother. Do you think that place was around here? I mean, I guess it could have been anywhere. Another state, even. I don't know, but I want to find it. My parents always sang this song, We're Back in Harmony. Well, New Harmony is worth a visit, then. It's the town around here. Do you remember anything else? Nothing helpful. That creepy tree... No wooden table at the outside. Huh. That could be anywhere. Nothing here. Hilarious. Oh. Nothing I'm going by the left to right here, oh, so... Oh, yeah. I always go top to bottom. Yeah. I'm a left to right kind of person. Fair enough, but... You're probably right, though. Nothing here rings a bell. The whole area is pretty much blank. Fuck! Which one is talking? Let's turn. Grab a bite. And then go back. The others are wondering where we are. Holy shit. D Stop! This is it. Home. Fred Bear's family diner. Oh shit, look at that fucking lizard. He's chilling. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. New lizard animatronic confirmed. Oh shit. Everything is gone. Closet. There were costumes. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> That's the worst thing. Oh god, it got worse. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I looked. At, it's page seventy-four, and I realized the next time I press that next page button, it's time. Yeah. We made it. Oh, we uh, did something. In the meantime, we can talk about this page of Spring Bonnie stealing a child. Is that what, what happened? Yeah, they, he just took the child. Oh. Oh yeah, because Charlie was talking about twin brother. Yeah, the reason that he didn't know that she had a brother is because he's Because he's fucking dead. Gotcha. You remember anything? A lot. Let's go back. I want to get out of here. A rabbit. A yellow rabbit. It took my brother Sammy. Uh... The mascot I saw the day Michael disappeared. The bear. And I'm pretty sure it was yellow, too. I think it's connected. The animals at the diner and the ones at Freddy's. And the lightning strikes twice. But not murder. Literally, whose line is it anyway? That's what this is. <laughs> Are you ready? I, I, I know for a fact that you haven't seen some of the art on this page. Oh boy. Okay, ladies, gents, and everyone in between. Meet Dave Miller. Here he is! Anyway. <laughs> Here he is! Dave Miller! <laughs> Remember. Yeah. Let's, let's just read the first page before we address that. Okay. Before we address that. I say not knowing who the first person to speak is. <laughs> well, hello there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, hello there. Where have you two been? Yeah, what about you two? That's a weird way to word that, but okay. We just went for a drive. When we got back, we found your note at the motel about being here, so... Yeah, I bet you did. Keep your lights off. No need to draw extra attention. <laughs> no need to draw extra attention. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. It's 
time for you to decide <laughs> what you want to do. I honestly... Okay. Should I, um... Should I do an, an impression of PJ Haywood so people know what he canonically sounds like? So they can see just how unfitting it would be I mean, I'll for say, that design. All right. Well, yeah. If you want to, like, do the voice, uh, his canonical voice, just to show people how ridiculously yeah. unfitting this is. <laughs> so canonically, his voice... <clears throat> I always come back. Like that's not that's not the same. Like, that's not the same. It's 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 deeper than that. It is deeper. So if I were to try and do it, it would probably sound something like this. <laughs> it sounds really bad when I'm doing it, but eh, that's what he fucking sounds like. No, you can do it better than you say you can. It's just, you know, doing it on the fly like that is kind of like, ah, shit. It just takes so much water. My, oh, yeah, I bet. I, my throat has to be the perfect moisture level the per for it to come out. No, genuinely, it no, has I, to be the I perfect know. moisture I, level for it to come out right. I totally understand. I, I know exactly what you mean. <clears throat> and the problem is I just ate a little bit of candy, so. Yeah. But, um, no, I, I, I totally understand. I was like that with Reco. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, so that's about what it would sound like if I were to try to do an impression of his canon voice. Just look at him. I don't think that's what he'd sound like if he looks like <laughs> that. So, we have two options. We can either do the funny in that it's so unfitting that it's r ridiculously funny or you could come up with a dumb voice that actually fits him which would be equally as entertaining just in a very different way yeah also can we shout out that top right panel his stick hand <laughs> that's not his hand <laughs> no i know but like it just pretend it is oh okay i just wanted to make sure yeah no it's great <laughs> <laughs> it, it, like I, I i genuinely did think that was a, I, I a little bit yeah i did too and then i looked at it i was like oh okay it's the fucking yeah. plant it's like a plant it's the plant that's in the first panel yeah but like you can you can make it look like his, his hand and he's got a stick arm but like I, I just don't know. I, 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 I just I don't know. What do you, what do you think I should do? I don't know either. That's the problem. It's like I have no idea what would be more entertaining. I kind of want to see what you would come up with though. I can't help but really want to know what you would come up with for him. Well, the problem is I have a a, a decent enough idea. Because about what I would do is I'd probably give him. Not that high pitched, but something Monokuma esque. Huh. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Like, it wouldn't be that high pitched. It'd probably be, I had a feeling you wouldn't leave me alone. Oh. Like, something like that. Yeah, okay, I get what you mean. <laughs> so, what's that? Like, I'd, I'd, I'd put more to it, but yeah, that's you'd, not. Like, you'd fine tune it. It'd be, as about, you go. it'd be that pitch. Yeah. It would be that pitch. You'd fine tune it as we went. I don't know, man. I it's so difficult to decide. <laughs> Isn't it? Cuz both are really entertaining, but I think it might be a little too jarring if you go with the canon voice. It might just be that little bit where it's like, "Okay, this is a little ridiculous now." Okay, but that's what I want it to be. I I'm I'm honestly more tempted to do the canon then come up with something on my own. If you're, like, able to do it, like, for long enough... I can. Oh, I can. If you think you can do it for the rest of the... Because we're not even halfway through. Yeah, um, I, I can do it. Uh, well, if you're comfortable in doing it the whole way through, then yeah, go for it. Uh, Alright, you sure? I'm about as sure as I'll ever be. <sighs> I had a feeling you wouldn't... <laughs> Alright, water time. <laughs> I had a feeling you wouldn't leave it alone. I could have you arrested for trespassing. 
What are you kids doing back here? Partying? Drugs? Charlie, what do we do? Um, is that Lamar? Yeah, that's Lamar. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we're really sorry. Wait. Why don't you come with us? We just want to explore a little more, then we'll leave. You know your way around better than any of us. And then we'll never come back. Why would, why would he agree to this? <laughs> you know exactly why he's agreeing to this. Okay, I know. I know exactly why, but... You know, they... Other than that, like, what actual reason would he have to agree to this? Like, <laughs> there, are si there are six adults in front of him they're not, saying, they're not adults. Hey... How old are they? They're like 16, 17. They're teenagers. What? <laughs> I know, right? They're like 16, 17. I thought they were supposed to be like mid-20s. No, no. I'm, uh, there's a line at the beginning where Carlton but, says, Once I turn 18, I'm out of here. So they're about 16, 17 years old right now. I thought that was like a flashback scene. No, that was happening like in the present. That was the first time th this group, like, reunited since they were six years old. They don't tell you that. But when Charlie walks into the di the diner at the beginning, yeah, that was, like, their, like, reunion ten years oh. later. They what? don't tell you that, but yeah. Look at his smug fucking face at the bottom right! I know! <laughs> Hold on. I'm I'm just gonna be screenshotting a lot here. You're just gonna have a folder of Dave Miller screenshots. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's gonna be called. I'm gonna keep saying that. D until they reveal it. <laughs> I don't actually know if they do in the graphic novel. Of course they do. They, they, I'm sure he doesn't, like, Yoshikage Kira himself, but, like... <laughs> what the fuck is that sound? Is that a dog? Sorry, I had a weird dog outside. It sounded like a weird mix of a dog and a pigeon. I see. I'm just enjoying this page. Alright, you ready? Yeah, I'm better ready to love Sure. I am not an idiot. I know what's back there. Anyway, the name's Dave. This way. Carlton, have you ever seen this guy? This town is not that small. I don't know everybody. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that he's never seen this guy before. <laughs> I mean, considering he works like a night shift. Yeah, he's a night guard. Oh no, not this! No! Every time we go to the next page, I remember seeing this before. And I just feel the dread. <laughs> who's, who's speaking? Oh, I guess it's Lamar? Yeah, it's Lamar. What happened to the restaurant? And why is the mall abandoned anyway? You don't know. Nobody wanted to lease Freddy's because of what happened. Then they decided to build a mall to attract business, you know? Someone had the bright idea to seal Freddy's up. Build the mall around it. But it wasn't enough. Something about this place spilled over into the rest of the building. Barely anyone wanted to bring their business here. Those few franchise owners who were about to open their shops quit their contracts and left. Said it just didn't feel right. I think it's got an aura, a mystical energy maybe, if you believe in that sort of thing. I don't believe in that sort of thing. <clears throat> to each their own. All I know is they abandoned the construction before. No, nobody comes here. Except kids wanting to screw around. And me! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Can I go to the arcade again? Sure, just be careful. Lamar, I want to see the control room again. <laughs> Let's go too. John, that guy gives me creeps. He's just a guard, Charlie. Well, that is Lamar, okay. They are not really dancing like they used to. Is that, is that, is that Dave or John? That's, that's Dave. Okay, should I go Lamar then Dave? Yeah. Alright, he's just turning from side to side with that button. Um, uh, 
Could I try? Why not? <laughs> it's just it's showing off to a bunch of teenagers. It's the funniest <laughs> fucking thing. He's so smug about it. <laughs> The fact that he's showing off like this, or the fact that they're so impressed. <laughs> like, they're just like, whoa! Okay, but I, I've i gotten the best screenshot of, of him. It's never gonna get better than this, huh? It's never gonna get better than that! What the <laughs> fuck?! <laughs> okay. Wait, Marla is an anagram of Lamar. What the fuck?! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Wait a second. Dave is an anagram of Willie. Just like back then! No way. How did he do that? Uh, oh no, the page isn't loading! Oh no! <laughs> um... That's who's, nice. who's... Okay, so it's Child, then Capricorn. Le Carlton, that's his name. <laughs> Capricorn! I knew that wasn't his name, I was just making shit up on the spot. We'll, we'll read it when the other page loads. In the meantime, we can appreciate how they used the paint bucket on Jason down there again. <laughs> Oh no, this isn't good. Oh no. The book, the book saw Dave and was like, Oh god, I can't do it, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> the book itself decided to stop. <laughs> the book itself, like if it was like a physical copy, the book just closes like, No, you can't keep going <laughs> for your own safety. <laughs> there we go, okay. Oh, okay. Oh my god, look at the co the fucking the pictures on the second panel on the right. Look at that shitty filter that's supposed to make it look blurry. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. Alright. I'm not a baby, you don't have to watch me. I'm not watching you, I'm hanging out with you. I'm not Marla. Go and stick your tongue into an electric sock if I can. Maybe I will. It's fine. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot about this. <sighs> it's strange seeing them like this again. Body Nervous little fella, aren't you? Lamar, something is wrong. Turn it off. I don't know how. Oh shit, they out here. They're trying to get away. Where's Dave? He started this? He's gone. Who cares? We need to find Jason! We should go back to the other control. Are you just, are you just enjoying the right? I wasn't looking at the second page! And then I did and realized this is sequential. I didn't realize one came after another. Yeah, this is the context of these screenshots that you've seen before. <laughs> we should go back to the other control room. Marla, you go and look for your brother. We'll try to find Dave. Can we appreciate Chica at the bottom, by the way? <laughs> Just squawk. And then there's him doing a bool and going yep. into a fucking closet. Yeah, I didn't realize this happened so fast. Yeah. God, look at how slender his hand is in the right fucking panel. But then in the one to the left of that, it's nowhere near the same thing. Yeah. And also, he's got a fucking giraffe neck. Yeah. He's just like that. Hey, Editor Maru here. I just wanted to point out that his hand is wrong in the last panel. Like, you see him reaching in with his left hand, but then he's touching the fur with his right, and like... This is a professional-grade graphic novel, guys. I swear! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is where we go from here! <laughs> also, look at Bonnie in the top left of Bully! <laughs> he's, he's doing that fucking Egyptian yeah, stereotypical like Egyptian. dance. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I started crying from laughter this morning was because I saw that panel. I just lost <laughs> it. Bonnie? Hey, what are you doing back here? Carlton, I saw something. It was Bonnie, but different. Oh, Jason. Bonnie is on stage with Freddy and Chica. Oofed. 
<laughs> yeah, big shocker. <laughs> the fucking kid's face! <laughs> Marla! Jason! Come on, we need to leave. It's not safe here. No one saw Dave, I guess? I think that's a little ma. He must have left when the animatronics started going haywire. Carlton! He's still in there! Bonnie took him! I saw it! A yellow bonnie grabbed Carlton at Pirate's Cove and carried him away! And I think we need help. We have to go back in. We have to find Carlton. No, let's get Carlton's dad. I'm not taking Jason back in there. Chapter 7. Oh shit, random dude. <clears throat> Thanks for bringing these kids to me, Officer Dunn. Carlton wasn't kidnapped. He's playing a joke on you. All of you. What? You'll see. Why don't you come back to our place? I'll make y'all some hot chocolate. When Carlton finally shows up, you can tell him he's grounded. At the book house. Since you're all grown up now, call me Clay. You remember Betty, Carlton's mom? Uh, she's asleep, so don't crash around or anything. So, did we get pranked? I guess maybe. Look, I know you don't believe me, but Carlton does things like this. He once convinced all his classmates and even the teacher that he had a twin brother. This is different. Jason saw him disappear, taken by a yellow rabbit mascot. This can't be a prank. Listen, I know you were just kidding around, but I don't want to hear you kids joking about Freddy's. Processing. You know, I wasn't the chief back then. I was still a detective, and I was working on those disappearances to the- Oh, fuck. On those disappearances. To this day, it was the worst thing I'd ever had to see. I'm especially surprised at you, Charlie. Mr. Burke, Clay, they ever find out who did it? I thought they arrested somebody. Yes, we arrested somebody. I did, in fact. And I'm sure now as I was then that he was guilty. So, what happened? There were no bodies. We knew it was him. There was no doubt. But the children had disappeared. They were never found, and without the bodies... But kidnapping! They disappeared! How can this man be walking around somewhere? What if he does it again? Justice penalizes the guilty, but it must also protect... What? <laughs> That's funny, they're pretending the American system works. You know what? <laughs> You're right. The American justice system rewards the guilty and penalizes the innocent. The guilty being the upper class. Yeah. It means that sometimes the guilty ones get away with horrible things. It's the price we pay. So, uh, it's pretty late. Why don't you kids stay overnight here? You can scold Carlton for his little prank in the morning. It was my price. Alright, then there's a baby Charlie. Yeah. A fucking rainbow. Oh, that's a reference to FNAF World, the rainbow. Yeah. Okay. Does it hurt? Fucking <laughs> that bullshit again. You have to get him, Clay, right now! How could you wait all night? Who are you calling? The police. I am the police. Then why are you here instead of finding my son? Betty, it's just another joke. Carlton being Carlton. Remember the frogs? This is different. It's Freddy's. You're acting like I wouldn't understand. Betty, I saw Michael's blood streaked across the floor where he was dragged from- Well, you didn't see him. He lost his best friend. Let me tell you something, Chief. That boy has thought about Michael every single day for the past ten years. There is no way on earth that Carlton would desecrate Michael's memory by making Freddy's a joke. Call someone right now. And then it says, meanwhile, and then it cuts to this, and I don't know what's yeah. going on here. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, okay, so it's the, the other officer. Okay, it's just him. Right. Right, okay. Um, what's up with these fucking pencil necks? Like, every single person in this book has a long, thin... Why? Because the author does- or the artist doesn't know how to draw necks, I guess. Just- just, just cut them in half, and then lower the head onto them. 
There you go. You won. Ooh, bring me bring me back a soft pretzel. Hey, Nora, done here. Back to the mall for another look. Burke said his son is supposed to be here playing a prank again. This is where I met his friends last night. Can't tell creation from destruction at a distance. Why does this guy exist? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! To die. <laughs> Look at that bottom left panel! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, just a costume. <laughs> fucking dies. <laughs> Wait, William uses a knife when he's in the spring? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Why? Why be in the suit if you're gonna stab someone? Uh, as a, like a cover. <laughs> All right, Stanley. You remember him? How could I forget a mechanical unicorn? Your big girl closet. So what was in there all those years? I'm not sure. I sort of remember we came back one more time. I guess we picked clothes from it. I'm going to see if I can find any photo albums or paperwork that can help us. Look at that library. I think I found something. You all look so happy. Yeah. Why is he playing with the fucking plushie? Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh god, that looks so awkward! What does? Jelly's face in the really awkward hug. Oh my god, the Theodore on the left! Oh god! <laughs> That's you and Sammy? Charlie, uh, what happened at Freddy's all those years ago? You know I didn't think your father did it, right? I know. But... I might. I remember him dressing up for us in that yellow bear suit, doing the dances, miming along with their songs. It was so much a part of him. He was the restaurant. Charlie, don't say things like this. You know it's not true. Do you... Do you know how my father killed himself? I remember my parents talking. Something about a knife and all the blood. There was a knife, and there was blood. My aunt came to get me at school in the middle of the day. I knew something was wrong. You don't go home from school in the middle of the day when everything is fine. She picked me up, brought me to the car, and told me that she loved me. I love you, Charlie. And everything is going to be okay. And then she told me that my father died, and asked me if I knew what that meant. I did. She said I was going to stay with her for a couple of days, and we would get some clothes from there. When we went through the door, she covered my face with her hand so I wouldn't see what was in the living room. But I did see. This looks so stupid. I know. So that's how we... Of course. Sorry. Two hours later. This doesn't lead anywhere. Nothing is in order. There are pictures of my parents, Sammy and me as babies, as newborns, and as toddlers. Pictures of the house. Charlie, uh, look. Oh, that image is terrifying. <laughs> the yellow rabbit. There's a person in there, and this article. My dad had a partner. This says they were joint owners. Charlie! John! He's gone! Jason is gone! He's gone back to Freddy's! Oh, oh, yeah! What? I feel like I remember seeing a screenshot from this double page now. I feel like this is familiar. I don't like it, but it is. Alright. No! If I could just... Ah. <clears throat> I wouldn't do that. Who is it? Let me out of this! I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Never trust a rabbit, I say. Don't speak. 
A kind of name for a serial killer is Dave! I told you not to speak. It's not an order. It's a friendly reminder. Do you know what I put you inside? Your girlfriend? Oh, that's where that meme comes from. <laughs> Afton, Carlton, heating the girlfriend line. You're amusing, but no. You're not wearing a costume. These suits were designed for two purposes. To be worn by men like me, and to be used as working animatronics. Stage. Understand? You see, all of the animatronic parts in the suit are still in it. They are simply held back by spring locks, like this. These are spring locks. Watch. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can trip those spring locks very, very easily. It almost takes no movement at all. That's a very old costume. One of the first ones Henry made. Henry? Who's Henry? Henry, your friend Charlie's father. Did you not know that he made the play? Well, that's one of his first suits. And if you trigger those spring locks, two things will happen. First, the locks themselves will snap right in, making deep cuts all over your body. And a split second later, all the animatronic parts, all that sharp steel and hard plastic will be instantly driven into your body. Oh, you will die, but it will be slow. You'll feel your organs punctured. The suit will grow wet with your blood, and you will know you are dying for a long, long time. Oh, you'll try to scream, but you'll be unable to. Your vocal cords will be severed, and your lungs will fill with your own blood until you drown on it. How do you know that? How do you think? <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Don't move! I'd just like to take a second to apologize to Name, because he fucking nailed this scene. And then that was me in the back laughing at the funny man in the funny pictures. I'm really sorry. I tried so hard to keep myself calm. But really, you fucking nailed this section. Good job, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just noticed that there's a fucking, there's a fucking, like, emoticon face on his stomach. What? There's a fucking emoticon face on his stomach, dude. <laughs> Yep, that's the first image we got to see after. Oh, sorry, Dave Miller. He's literally not wearing any clothes. Yeah. Hey, so these spring locks are dangerous, you know? Hey, look at me not wearing clothes. <laughs> While in a spring lock suit. No, it's important. It makes sense in the moment, but like, good lord. Does it? I mean, he's demonstrating it... what happens. He could just take his shirt off. Yeah, he could just take his shirt off, but, you know. Anyway, outside, Freddy. Who does this? Someone did that! Someone welded it shut! Jason is in there! <clears throat> there has to be another way in. Yes, and I know it. Come on! A few minutes later, after that awkward shot. The skylight in a closet. Whose brilliant idea was that? You know we can't get back up through there. We just need something to stand or climb on. We can think about how to get out later. We just have to find Carlton and Jason now. I want to take a look in this control room. Lamar, come with me. Uh, fuck. Just gonna... Uh, it's probably Marla, huh? The rest of you try the other one in the main room. Wait, no, it's not. It's Lamar. God damn it. <laughs> The rest of you tried the other one in the main room. If we each take one set of cameras, we can see the whole restaurant for sure. If Jason's in this place, we'll see him. I don't think we should split up. Wait. Where did you get those? Mrs. Burke gave them to me. You guys go back to the main stage. We'll check out this control room. All right. <laughs> These fucking dumbass action shots. 
I know. They remind me of that one badly drawn. That badly drawn what? Rampa. Oh, okay. The one I sent you just reminds me of this. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Charlie, we found Jason already. Jason. Jason, how could you? The vent. Yeah, really. How? You could have been killed. Okay, okay. Gotta know I'm important and everybody missed me. You are important. Okay, let's see what we can see. Look. Lamar, you have to warn them. Charlie, the guard is somewhere around there. Hide. <laughs> you can just at them hiding. <laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> Somewhere nearby. <laughs> Voices. People moving around. No time to lose. I'm almost in sight. If they are here to look for me, they will check the cameras. We can just keep going. Yeah, let's just skip Golden Fred. I highly doubt he's gonna appear. Yeah, no, he's just gone from now on. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Hey! Something is seriously wrong here. Bonnie? Charlie, Lamar here. Don't leave the control room now. Oh, presumably that's Charlie, <laughs> but it's kind of hard to tell. The third panel! Look at him on the camera! <laughs> <laughs> it's too dark. I can't see anything out there. There! That's Carlton right there. I'm going to get him. Charlie, wait! Eh, great. It's bolted shut. Oh, and then there's Lamar on the other- Oh, no! It's so <laughs> dramatic and spooky. <laughs> it's too dark. I can't see anything. Spook. That wasn't me. Wait, where is- ah! Calm down, Charlie. Did he follow me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> there he is. That would be horrifying. Oh yeah. Okay, so she runs around for a while. The bottom left just looks like a pile of sludge. That doesn't look like a human being. It, yeah. Oh god, the bunny like peering out from the bottom on the right page. That's terrifying. That's It is. Oh god. Okay, that's what's happening. I'm always terrible at figuring out shit like this. Yeah. All Bonnie right. is fucking up the stalls. Alright. John! Charlie! It's stuck! And so she do another new. Meanwhile. Oh, she found him! Carlton! Oh. Charlie! That's Look at his face! <laughs> he looks high as balls in that shot. <laughs> A springlock suit? That costume is going to kill you if you move. Thanks. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm probably the only person alive who can get you out of this. Lucky me. It's important that you hold perfectly still now, Carlton. Yeah, serial killer man explained the don't move thing to me. Stop talking. I'll try to work fast. Not too fast. Shh. Okay, Carlton. We're almost done. I'm going to open the last one and throw it forward. When I do, you pull out as fast as you can, okay? One, two... Three! Alright, there we go. Carlton, are you okay? Uh, I was trapped in that thing for hours! I feel all tingly. You might have a concussion. Carlton, you said Serial Killer Man told you not to move. Is he here? I guess so. It was uh, Dave, the guard. Charlie. The kids, all those years ago. Michael, the others. What about them, Carlton? They are here. Dave, he took them from the dining room. They're still here. How do you know that? They are not there. I think it's Michael in that suit. And I still can't get this thing open. Both of you, be quiet. Marla? Charlie! John, get out! 
Marla? The lock. We didn't... Michael in that suit. I know how it sounds, but... <laughs> now you've done it. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes! Yes! There it is! Oh. <laughs> Fucking vibe check. <laughs> Whoa, you knocked him out cold. Come on, we have to get out of here. I don't know how long he'll stay out. What do you see? Nothing. I think it's safe. Oh, there she is. Fucking Chica. It's time to eat. Whatever it was, it seems to be gone now. Yeah, but it broke the lock of the door. Scrim. John, <laughs> Jessica. Shh, it's us. Carlton, are you okay? Yeah, never felt better. He probably has a concussion. He needs a doctor. We have to Concussion? Get out of I don't know how he got that concussion, but you know. Yeah, Afton just fucking strangled him. <laughs> yeah, you know. And if anyone has a concussion, it's Afton! Yeah! We have to get out of here. We're all going to need a doctor if we're stuck here. What are you reading? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We could try the skylight. There's gotta be a ladder somewhere. We can't get Carlton out from there. And what about Lamar, Marlin, and Jason? I hate to say it, but that guard is probably our best chance to get out of here. Well, if we want to go, we should do it now. They're not even checking Pirate's Cove, the fucking amateur. The fools! Go, go! <laughs> <laughs> After the fucking dies! <laughs> He's dead. I didn't think I really... No, uh... He's just out cold. We have to tie him up or something. I agree. Let's look for a rope. This place seems to have everything. Why don't we just put him into one of the costumes? Charlie? Where's Michael? What? Michael was there. He was right there. Oh, it's the, the cop! Yep, he's dead. The cop? That's Officer Dunn. I guess your dad sent him to look for you. There's nothing we can do now. I found some quartz. Come on. We don't know how much time we have before he wakes up. 23 knots later. Why are they trying to- why are they waking him up? I know they said that, like, he's, he's the their only chance to get out of here. This is so stupid! Hey, dirtbag, wake up. Here, try this. Sploosh. So, Dave, how about you tell us what's going on? <laughs> no! No! Oh, no. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Go on. I just, I just needed that. Oh, God. Oh, hey, it's my cat. <laughs> is he alive? There is something different about him. He doesn't react. His pulse is normal. Oh, that's cold. Why don't you tell us about the kids you killed and stuffed into those suits out there? Carlton, everything you're saying is nonsense. No, it's true. This is the man who killed Michael and all the other kids. I'm sorry, I, I tried so hard. Face. Take that, jackass! Oof. That's it? You want that? You want this? You need this? <laughs> there it is! The fucking image you keep sending to me! Every day for the past, like, five days, Name has DM'd me sending me the you need this panel. But Jessica looks like a fucking snake in the bottom right. In the bottom left, even. It looks like a fucking snake. <laughs> Serpentious. <laughs> it's Serpentious. My dad trusted you. What did you do to him? I helped him create. 
We both wanted love. Your father loved, and now I have love. Sick bastard! The kids you killed are still here! You've imprisoned those kids! No. They are home with me. Their happiest day. How do we get out? There is no way. <clears throat> there is no way. Okay, yeah, I need water. Yeah, get, get. I, uh, I thought I could do one more line without water. <clears throat> there is no way out anymore. All that is left is family. Then you're tra and you're trapped here too. So you're not gonna hurt anyone else. I don't have to. When it gets dark, the spirits will awaken. They will kill you all. I'll just walk out in the morning, stepping over your corpses one by one. And oh god, it's getting it's it's getting a bit rough. Are you gonna be all right? <laughs> I'll be fine. Right. <clears throat> They'll kill you too. And the spirits of the dead, the spirits of the kids you killed. Why will they kill us? It's you they're after. No, I am quite confident that I will survive. They don't remember. They've forgotten. The dead do forget. All they know is that you are here, trying to take away their happiest day. You are intruders. Grown-ups, none of you will survive the night. And what makes you think it won't kill you? Because I am one of them. So bad in that shot, Jesus Christ. I know. At least we don't have to look at his face anymore. Yeah. Can you hear my cat? Charlie, he's insane. No, I can't. Okay. We have to get out of here. Now I'm going back to the control room. Stay here with Carlton and Jessica for now. I'll contact you with the walkie-talkie if I need to. Be careful, okay? Sure. Oh, fucking goddammit. Has Doug reported back from Freddy's? Who is- who- is that Afton or is that Henry? On- on the picture on the left? I have no idea. I don't know. Or is that him? I don't know. Everybody looks the fucking same. Except, like, current Afton. <laughs> and that's just because he, uh... No, it's Henry! It's Henry! It's Henry! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking employee background check. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, why did I have to say anything? At least we don't have to look at his face anymore. <laughs> How about that? Alright, there's no dialogue on these pages. Look yeah. at Foxy. I noticed. He's vibing. He's vibing. Jason! Jason! Run! Run! Are you injured? It's alright. We have to. Guys? Scrim. Quick to the party rooms! Charlie, I found them. Do you think Foxy followed us? Do you hear that? Is that a music box? Oh, fuck. Are you ready for Freddy? <laughs> oh! Wonk. Wonk. John! Charlie! Come on, hurry! We can barricade ourselves in here at least. What? Oh. It... It's just that's Charlie's that... arm, so I got confused. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. That looks like... John's jacket, but okay. What? It's locked. There's someone in there? Dave! He got loose! We have to- Let's eat! <laughs> no one. DR characters in the halls. <laughs> We're trapped. <laughs> she does that. <laughs> Charlie, what are you doing? Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, she's screaming. Okay, I didn't even notice. Charlie! Charlie. I'm alright. Let's go. To the main dining room. Whoop! <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> Did she fucking throw, like, a wheel at him? <laughs> yes. It's something. Oh my god, look at him! 
Oh, okay, we're here. <laughs> we're, we're finally back to this. Oh, yeah. They just straight up reused these panels. Yeah, they, these are the exact same panels. They're just in a different order this time. Yeah. I have to get out. I have to. Swing. Oh, okay, that's how it ends. <sighs> Wham. Charlie. John. John. Charlie. Can people stop just saying each other's names and having that pass for dialogue? <laughs> yeah, that's not dialogue. Oh my god, I like Lamar's action pose he's got going on. That's not an action pose, that's a fear pose. Oh my god, look at them all. I, I just... I think Bonnie looks the most out of place. Chica does, look at those arms. You know what, you're right. Her arms look that, like they're too big. Alright, let's surround it again. Charlie. Uh, Charlotte. Michael? Michael, it's you. It's the kids. Foxy wasn't attacking Jason. He was trying to protect him. Oh, the dad's back. D what a hero. Dad! Carlton! Okay, kids. I think it's time to go. Come on. You are staying. Absolutely not. I will kill this one right here. Unless you do as I say. Okay. Well, do as you say. What do you want? If you want to be one of them, then be one of them. Oh, Jesus, she just straight up kills him. Oh, my God. Pixie! Sorry, my cat is very scared. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's fucking Yeah, up. she kills him in one of the most brutal ways possible. And then Freddy just takes him away. Let's go. Charlie, are you sure you don't need to go to the I'm fine. I just need to change clothes. Jessica and I will stop at the motel and follow you then. It's Jessica, then Charlie, then Jessica. Yeah. I call for a shower! Jessica. Okay, I'll make an exception for Charlie. What happens now? Well, I still have to go my- I have to, I still have to get my office. So I have to go back in. What do you think should happen, Charlie? Nothing. It's over. It should be left that way. You've been carrying Freddy's with you all these years. It's time you leave it behind. So, are we ever going to see each other again? Oh, it just, that's just how it ends, okay. Oh, it's over. Yeah, that's just it. That was the most abrupt ending in the fucking world. <laughs> it's it's just, over. It's just presumably Charlie, like, playing with her dad. And you just, oh, Charlotte, the end.